In this video, I will show you how to potentially double your money in 2024 through Singapore stocks and why major investment banks are betting big on our market. If you've been sitting on the sidelines, this might be your chance to get in. Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. I'm Iggy here, your favorite finance savvy iguana. For those new here, I've been analyzing Singapore's financial markets for over a decade. The investing iguana ranks 8th in the 2023 Influential Tigers by Tiger Brokers, with over 800,000 reads and 250,000 watch hours. The Singapore Stock Market Renaissance The Singapore stock market is showing incredible strength in 2024, with the Straits Times Index reaching new heights at 3,138.16 points. This impressive 15.37% jump since January shows just how resilient our financial markets are. What makes this even more exciting is how it fits into the bigger picture of Singapore's economy. We're seeing GDP growth hit 4.1% in the third quarter of 2024, beating the previous quarter's 2.9%. A big part of this success comes from our manufacturing sector, which bounced back strong with 7.5% growth after having a rough couple of quarters. When we look at who's leading this charge, our local banks are the real stars of the show. DBS Holdings, OCBC, and United Overseas Bank have all seen their stocks jump by more than 30% this year, really cementing Singapore's position as a key financial hub in the region. While we haven't quite reached the all-time high of 3,906.16 points from October 2007, things are looking up. Market experts think we'll stay strong through the next quarter. The best part? Singapore's economy has some rock-solid foundation supporting all this growth. We're talking about a super low unemployment rate of just 1.8% and inflation staying manageable at 2.0%. These kinds of numbers create the perfect environment for our market to keep growing. The IPO drought and upcoming changes. The Singapore stock market has hit what many experts call rock bottom, with IPO activity at its lowest since the SGX's inception in 1999. The stark reality is evident in the numbers. Just six IPOs in 2023 raised only use $35 million, marking a dramatic 92% decline from the previous year. This performance puts Singapore significantly behind regional competitors, particularly when compared to Indonesia's impressive 79 listings in the same period. The situation hasn't improved in 2024, with only one IPO from Singapore Institute of Advanced Medicine Holdings raising use $20 million. The market's decline is further emphasized by the consistent exodus of companies with 25 D listings in 2023 and at least 10 companies already exiting in the first five months of 2024. However, there's a silver lining with upcoming regulatory changes that could breathe new life into the market. The Monetary Authority of Singapore is set to implement major updates to the reporting requirements for over-the-counter derivatives in October 2024. These changes include the adoption of ISO 2022 XML data format, introduction of unique trade identifiers, and enhanced collateral and valuation reporting requirements. These reforms aim to boost market transparency and align Singapore's financial markets with global standards. The changes will modernize the trading infrastructure and potentially make Singapore more attractive to international investors though the immediate challenge remains in attracting quality listings and maintaining existing ones. The contrast with the market's heyday is stark. Back in 1993, when Singtel's IPO doubled its value on the first trading day, showcasing the potential that the Singapore market once had and could potentially recapture with these reforms. The GEMS Initiative Impact the GEMS initiative has made significant strides in Singapore's stock market landscape, proving to be more than just a support system. With 46 listings under its belt spanning diverse sectors from new technology to healthcare, the scheme has become a vital lifeline for companies seeking to go public. The standout success stories include heavyweight listings like Nanofilm Technologies and Digital Core ReIT on the main board, while 36 companies have found their footing on the Catalyst board. The generous support of up to $2 million for listing expenses has made the dream of going public more achievable for many enterprises. What's particularly exciting is how GEMS has transformed the research landscape of Singapore's stock market.
The research development grant has created a vibrant ecosystem of market analysis, with over 10 research houses now employing 38 dedicated analysts. These professionals have churned out more than 900 comprehensive research reports, shining a spotlight on 130 SGX-listed companies. This wealth of information has been a game changer for retail investors like you and me, who now have access to professional-grade insights that were previously hard to come by. Think of it as having a team of financial detectives working around the clock to uncover investment opportunities and risks, making the market more transparent and accessible for everyone. Future Market Potential The Singapore stock market shows promising signs of growth, with the Straits Times Index, STI, surging over 16% since the start of 2024. This remarkable performance stems from strong showings in the banking sector, with DBS Holdings, OCBC, and UOB all posting gains above 27% for the year. Morgan Stanley's recent upgrade of the Singapore exchange to overweight with a price target of SGD1431 reflects growing confidence in Singapore's position as a global financial hub. Looking ahead to 2024, several catalysts could drive further market growth. The Monetary Authority of Singapore's ongoing market review, expected to conclude by August 2025, aims to revitalize the equity market and attract new economy companies. Combined with Singapore's robust economic fundamentals and the potential for interest rate cuts in Q2 2024, these factors create a favorable environment for investors. The market's current valuation metrics suggest room for expansion, particularly in sectors like banking, real estate, and technology, which are benefiting from Singapore's continued digital transformation and infrastructure development. For retail investors, I recommend a balanced approach. Consider dollar cost averaging into blue chip stocks while maintaining exposure to growth sectors. The current market valuations at 10.68 times forward earnings present an attractive entry point compared to regional peers. Morgan Stanley's bullish stance on Singapore stocks isn't just optimistic thinking. The combination of government initiatives, strong corporate governance, and attractive valuations creates a perfect storm for growth. The upcoming mass reforms could be the catalyst that pushes our market to new heights. If you found value in this analysis, Hit that like button and subscribe to stay updated on Singapore's market opportunities. And don't miss my next video on Singapore's top 5 dividend stocks for 2025. I'll break down the best income generating opportunities in our market. If you found value in this analysis, hit that like button and subscribe to stay updated on Singapore's market opportunities. And don't miss my next video on